Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to explain and show you what the generic object services are in SAP, especially in the SAP GUI. Here right now we are in the transaction FB03 to display an SAP FI document. And here, based on my theme in the top left area, there I have one button to call the generic object services. Uh, the generic object services are cross application functions for an SAP business object in the SAP system, so an SAP ERP and SAP S4HANA. Here we are in the SAP object BKPF for the SAP FI document and here we have some services. For example, if I click there and drop down, then I can see that I can create an attachment, create a node, create an external document. I can call the attachment list and within here I can also so uh, add new documents, for example, if you would like to add a hint, a note for, for the invoice, for um, some information for the supplier, some internal information, or stuff like that, you would like to upload a PDF, then you can do this within the attachment list. Uh, you can maintain the documents. Uh, you can also add a private note. You can um, send the object with a note. You can uh, call the relationships. You can um, get an overview um, of the workflow especially if you would like to handle invoices multiple parties are involved if you would like to um, get a process monitor and you can also see your objects if you would like to you can also call the help for the object services so here you have a lot of functionalities especially for uh, ECM so enterprise content management for um, handling documents for a business object within SAP and if you click in the left side on this button, then you will see this func these functions um, based on buttons. And as I shown you on the right side, the drop down, then you will see the descriptions. And it's my personal opinion. I more use the, the description version instead of the button version. You can also call the generic object services within system and then my and then services for object, the button version. So this is also a way how we can do this. And if you want to, you can also call other transactions, for example, the ME23N, then you are in another SAP object for the purchase order. There you have also um, the button for the generic object services. And here, based on the option, um, some functionalities are available, are not available. Um, yeah, you can you can call this. I've already made some videos how you can, for example, hide the generic object services um, or if you would like to activate the generic object service button in the SAP SD transactions, I will link also the videos if you would like to get those information. And if you would like to customize the generic object services, then you have, first of all, to get a closer look into the table behind the generic object services. And therefore, we open up the SE16N, the data browser, and there we enter the SGO. S A T T R. This is the table containing all the information for the gene generic object service. If we execute this, then you will see um, all the nodes, all the uh, functions of the generic object services, and maybe you are confused because you you um, have realized that the generic object service I've shown you um, are less or uh, have less functionalities than shown here. Here we have more elements, 38. That's because not every service is shown within the business object that can be um, yeah, hided for some cases and um, or doing some authorization checks and stuff like that. This is all handled within the ABAP class. Within here, there is the logic behind the function. And basically, it's important to know because the first um, node was the, the create node. 
So here we you have the ability to create your attachments and you have um, to keep in mind that the generic object services um, are customized within this table. So to customize the generic object services, you open up another transaction and it's the SM30 transaction and within here you enter the table so s g o s a t t r and then you go to edit yeah this cross client you have to keep in mind and within here you basically can um you can add new nodes you can edit existing nodes you can delete them and uh, you can rearrange them i can explain you how this can be done but within the um, yeah, the maintenance view of the table, you can basically customize the generic object services. Then you have to save it, you have to uh, transport your changes into the maybe the quality, into the productive system. This is all being done in the SM30. Um, so keep this in mind. You have also, of course, need the authorization to the SM30. And the generic object services are linked and are customized like a chain. So you have to keep in mind, this is the first service to create attachment. And here basically you have one column called the next service. So this is the first service to create attachment and then to customize the next service behind the create attachment is the service entered within here so in this case is the view attay then let's go scroll down a little bit then we have the view attay then what's the next it's the personal note then let's go into this then the next service is the so um, send service so this one then you have to go to this so maybe you see now what is the logic behind um, yeah, uh, just uh, know that this is the process. So this is like a little chain and therefore you know how to maintain the next service within the generic object services. So let's go through the columns um, based on uh, one service. Of course, within here you have the primary key, the name of the service um, that has to be unique because therefore um, you enter all the additional information and you link or you, you set the order of the service within the, within the generic object services. Then you have um, the, the ABAP class for generic service and therefore it is really important that within here the logic happens, the logic is placed for the generic object service and I open up the SE24, the ABAP class builder, because all the ABAP classes entered in the in the table for the generic object services have been inherited from a GL GOS uh, service. So GL underscore GOS underscore service. So this one you go to display. So here on the properties you see that this is one abstract class. So you have to use this class, you have to create a new class that inherits from this class and within the methods you can basically um, yeah, write your code, for example, execute what happens uh, if you if you click on on the function or for example check status is important so if the generic object service should be active should be inactive invisible and stuff like that this can be handled within here and for example if we get a closer look into uh, just the barcode just for example, then let's go once again into the SE24, open this up, go to display. Then we see that the execute and the check status methods have been implemented. So let's go to the execute. 
and here you get basically the logic that happens if you click on on the button and let's go back and go to check status so in what kind of scenarios should this function uh, be active and it is i can also recommend that if, if you would like to create a new generic object service you would like to use into the into the button then i can recommend that you um, have a closer look into the ABAP class builder in the SE24 for one existing class and see what the what SAP does and then you can use also the logic and uh, within type it's important that this is basically the the service type let's uh, use the for help for this um, if you're using the number from one to five you can specify what kind of service this is for example the starting service is to create attachment service so the three and this is a service list containing no logic because there is no class entered and if you would like to use one single service then you have to use one or you can also um, enter as we have here um, the five service with sub function so just basically what what the service itself does what the logic is and so then the icon um i think it's self-explained but within here the icon what um icon should be used for the function and should be shown then we have the next service once again like a chain so uh, what kind of order is so what is the next service behind the service and um, if you have any subservice for that then control is important and um, if you would like to execute the service with a control container then commit is important if you would like for saving data a, a commit work in the ABAP code so if a commit work is needed within the ABAP code and then you have the description and the quick info that should be shown if you for example hover over the button and if you would like to um, use the text version of the generic object service so within that you have a lot of functions you can add own code if you want to for existing sap business objects for the pkpf the bus 20 uh, 80 and stuff like that so um, yeah it's really useful and especially in the sap gui for ecm for workflow it's highly used and useful if you have any questions left please put them in the comment sections if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos thank you so much and see you on the next video